Yes, I'm Sadek, a PhD candidate in the Department of Chemical Materials Engineering. For the next five minutes, I'm going to be talking about our project, which is high performance uh, thin film composite membranes for energy harvesting using pressure retarded osmosis or PRO. Uh, first, I'm going to explain the importance of the topic and why we did uh, you know, this research in the first place. Let's imagine, imagine going to the university and having to get our drinking water from a dirty pond. At this time I'm speaking, 785 million people do not have to imagine these conditions because they are, they are experiencing them every day. And uh, you know, they have no access to safe water. Every year, more than 3.5 million people die from water related disease. Now let's imagine this, the world without electricity. Suppose the power was down, we had no emergency backup, we had to cope for 24 hours. And so what would happen to factories, to schools, to hospitals and all other places which need electricity? Yes, we can't even imagine it. But right now, more than 800 million people have no access to electricity. Yeah, what I wanna emphasize here is the world is facing major challenges for water and energy supplies. And therefore, nowadays, many researchers like my colleagues in AWRL and GAIN are focusing on improving the water treatment processes and also renewable energy, particularly those with smaller impact on environment. In a very general terms, membrane is a perm selective interface between two phases. Here you can see a simplified view in the process. And if you look at the figure on the right, you can see a membrane placed between two phases and a flow of mass is induced from fit to permeate by applying a driving force like pressure. As can be seen here, the fit consists of two or more than two components. And uh, when some of those components flow faster than others through the membrane, suppression of the fit mixture happens. Now let me uh, move on to the PRO. Actually, it's a kind of technology which can simultaneously generate clean water and energy, which is known as blue energy. To put it more simply, uh, I should say PRO is a process in which a semi-permeable membrane is used and water molecules go through the membrane from low salinity sites such as river water at ambient pressure into a pressurized high salinity site, such as seawater. So the water flux from low concentration site to high concentration site can increase the volume of pressurized stream. And this increased pressure flow can be directly used for power generation through hydraulic turbine. So there are more factors that make PRO more favorable. I can say it is less dependent on the seasonal and weather conditions in comparison to other renewable energies, for example, the wind and solar energy. And this is an important point, particularly in Canada, as the long and dark winters mean it's unlikely these sources will ever become the primary source of electricity anywhere. And so there is no emissions of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide as another advantage of this process. PRO. So membrane as the main component of PRO technology controls the overall power generation and the cost effectiveness. So we need PRO membranes with high water permeability and high salt rejection. After fabricating the membranes, we need to evaluate the performance of the membrane systematically. So we need a bench scale setup to do, to do so. According to this, the first phase of our project is developing the PRO setup. And although our usual way of life has been disrupted during the last year because of the pandemic, it has also provided us the opportunity to spend more time on our dreams. Unfortunately, we have finished the first phase of the project during the last year, and we successfully designed and developed the new uh, experimental setup. So now we can systematically evaluate the performance of our PRO membranes, we fabricate, 
And here you can see two pictures of that. The best, to, to the best of my knowledge, this is the first time that such a kind of setup has been developed exclusively for PRO setup. And you see here, you can see other pictures. And as you see here, we designed it in such a way that the performance of the membranes, mainly extractable power density and transport properties like the flux and rejection can be verified in a long-term experiment. And before finishing my you know, presentation, I would like to show the process flow diagram of our setup. It can be seen on the left and you see that the required circulation of the flow of the fit solution and constant operating pressure that we need in this process are provided using a piston pump with duplex heads and also controlled by bypass valves. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much.